a lot of drinking and a lot of partying and that's what the captain does and welcome back to another video guys if you guys are new here my name is ernie and i custom paint custom gives and the promotional products uh, today we're going to do a custom shirt with the uh, captain morgan uh, pirate on there it's going to be a little bit different uh, so let's go ahead and get started like any other black shirt we're going to start off with the white base and at this point i'm still using kratex i'm going to do a future video where i test uh, a few other options or different brands of white uh, to see which one would work best on a black shirt i uh, just been curious to see how they perform um, this particular one i don't know if this, this is bottled but lately um, the white has been a little bit uh, washed out and it takes a lot of coats for me to be able to put some some nice coverage on black shirts this is going to be a fun project we have high contrast against the black shirt which is going to make it look really nice and of course who doesn't like pirates pirates of the caribbean at this land is one of my favorite rides when i go over there and of course who doesn't like captain morgan so let's go ahead and continue on with this project Even though working on a black shirt takes a lot of paint, it does uh, provide a little bit of leeway because you can roughly sketch things in without being too detailed, um, you know, in regards to like, you know, super, super detailed. So you can kind of roughly lay things out and because it's getting absorbed by the fabric, you know, the next time you come with a different layer of white, you can refine those details and continue doing that layer after layer. So. Uh, don't worry about being too perfect um, the first time just you know kind of go from like like blur from blurry to like a fine detail and using layers as your stepping stone for the additional layer so um, this way you can work quickly and you'll have fun as well uh, painting the, the shirt I'm using the time right now to also lay out the text that's going to be on there kind of gives me an opportunity to kind of play with the um the which i'm gonna call it the balance of the letters or you know if they're too big or too small then i can change them and fix them now instead of doing that later on so uh, i don't want to get too ahead and start coloring um because i, I want to make sure i have a nice base and i know exactly where things fall in and i'm pretty confident or pretty satisfied with the layout uh, and then from that point i can continue adding more highlights and redefining uh, everything and then after that i can continue um, defining the area by uh, you know using black if i want to but at this point um, i'm going to use black at the end uh, just to give it a, that that nice contrast at the end so right now i'm just going to lay down all the color uh, and, and go from there by including all your values at the beginning using the white, it'll uh, reflect and translate onto your additional layers of color. So once you start laying down the red, you can kind of lightly mist the color on top of the white. And because you have the values already set in the white, um, it'll translate onto the color uh, layer and it'll look really, really nice. Instead of having like one solid block of white and then coming in and trying to color like a bright red, and a darker maroon and so forth and so forth just trying to get those values in afterwards um it uh you know that would probably take too much pain it'll look a little sloppy and and too solid for me so just uh using the obviously the white as a base and lightly adding color slowly it'll give your uh your painting another dimension to add another level of depth to your project you can always texturize different objects so and like if you have a lot of 
one color and it's too much too bold or it looks a little cheesy you can always um, go in there with a different color and try to texturize it it'll break it down a little bit and it'll give the eye something interesting to look at and of course um, it'll make your main object which is in this uh, case is the pirate make that stand out so in this case we're going to texturize the letters in the background um, this way they're not just flat yellow To make your process a little bit quicker, normally what I do is I bundle up my colors that are in the same family. So for example, right now I did red, I did yellow, I'm doing brown. Uh, so those are kind of similar uh, in the same uh, family, I guess, in color. And so it makes it uh, quicker for me to change from one color to the other simply by throwing a little bit of water into my cup, using a regular Q-tip, wiping it down, and then shooting all the water through the cup and then um, you know I don't have to like super clean the cup because it is in the same you know uh, family I guess of color it doesn't really matter now if you were changing from yellow to uh, blue if you don't clean it you're gonna get green coming out of that airbrush so um, if you keep all your colors kind of together it'll make it uh, go a little bit quicker uh, when you're airbrushing especially when you have no time so all the white base is done, all the base coat is done, and now we're going to do the fun part which is adding the shadows with the black, and then after that adding a little bit of highlights with the white, and making this look really cool and making it pop. As you can tell, the actual shirt color itself is not really black, black, black. So um, because we are using a black and we are trying to get it more of a trying to give it more contrast I'm gonna throw black on top of the black shirt so I'm gonna try to make the shirt a little bit blacker to to make my art stand out against the actual shirt so I'll be using some of that just be careful so you don't overspray on the bright colors that you already have on there All right, guys, and we're coming to the end. This is the final stage of painting. So let's go ahead and finish it up and take a look at the final results. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the link in the description below. You can always purchase one of our items from there or um, yeah, just you know, subscribe and comment. That really helps me out and it's free. So I appreciate everybody that's been commenting and subscribing. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy for now and don't forget to get some rest.